Welcome to another episode of the Lions Den, deep in the heart of the Olympic paradigm. I'm your host, Animal, and once again, this is where the magic happens. Well, I see it's happening, man. Yeah, all day, every day. I see it's happening, man. What's going on, Animal? Well, you know, you this is my preacher curl, my seated preacher curl, dumbbell curl setup. You know, I do this basically once or twice a week or whatever to get that arm bicep, that single arm workout instead of doing the barbell curls. Okay, so, so let me see what we're doing. Well, this is basically the single arm dumbbell preacher curl. You know, it's just a basic... This is a warm-up weight. I might do two sets of 21 with this. Two sets of 21? Yeah. So what, um, and it's not for maximum weight. It's just the warm-up. Oh, no, up this to... is just a warm-up before I will go to a maximum weight with this. But the, every muscle in the body needs a warm-up phase because injuries do happen. So that's what you're doing right now, warm-up. Yeah. I ain't know that. I thought some people, they just get out here and just start no, throwing up their weight. No, you got to warm-up. If you don't want, you don't want no injuries, especially when you get older. Because when you get older... You get some injuries, and things don't heal right away. So for the record, what muscles do that? Um, well, what type that, of curl is that again? That preacher curl works on the bicep muscle. Just point out the it, bicep. This is the bicep muscle. It centralizes the bicep muscle. It totally focuses on the bicep muscle. Well, and hey, you know, that's some good knowledge right there. Yeah, well, you know, I ain't well, pleased. Well, you know, since we was focusing on the bicep muscle, yeah. it's time to focus on that dang Brain muscle. Well, that, that's, 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 that's an effect all the time. <laughs> that never sleeps. Hey, man, so you know what, man? You know what, what's going on in the news and everything, man? Yeah. Listen, so they caught my man Trick Daddy, right? Uh -huh. um, driving around. Um, he, he wasn't driving. He, they say he passed out mm -hmm. high off of um, weed no. and cocaine. Uh -huh. He said he has lupus, and um, marijuana has been known to cancel that out and make it feel better. Uh, and, and some pills. So he'd been going to natural route with the marijuana and stuff like that. Okay. But they found a dollar bill with cocaine in it and stuff like that. So he's mixing the cocaine with the weed, making the primo and stuff like that. What do you what do you think about that, man? The well, weed you, thing, helping the lupus, you agree with that? We all know that's that true. more likely is the case. And if it was just the weed thing or in the situation, that case, put, that situation would probably just went away. But when they found other things in his possession, that kind of doused the fire on the whole weed marijuana thing as far as being medical, whatnot. Yeah, he's saying that's the only way he can go to sleep. Now, I don't know nothing about no cocaine making no. nobody go to sleep, but he passed out, though. You know? So I, so since we're talking about that, what's, what, what's your thing about all this CBD stuff that's become legal, legalized and stuff, stuff like that, bro? Well, you know, I figure... They'll, once they figure out how to monopolize something where they can tax it and make money off of it. That's what they're doing right now. That's right. That's when they will legalize it. You know, and that seems to be the case with all these other paraphernalia things all of a sudden getting legalized because they didn't figure out what well, we can legalize this as long as we get our cut. So that's what they're doing right now with that's the CBD oil and the THC and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Can you believe it? We in the future, brother? Yeah, we there. So what, what about the guys who have uh, been in jail for weed crimes? And you, don't you think they need to be let out free? What do well, you think they about should, that? Uh, they, should, they, should, they reckon should get expunged on that because what they in jail for a prison is no longer a crime anymore. It's legal now. So what about pedophiles? If they in jail for being for raping kids and stuff like that, then they pass the sick law that that's acceptable. Would you would you be like, uh, take, let them out of jail then? Oh, Lord. <laughs> that goes to a whole different paradigm. I don't think that being a pedophile is never acceptable, whether it's legal or not. You know, they're trying to put that on the books, trying to make it seem like a, a lifestyle now. No, they couldn't. Yes, that, that's what they're trying. Oh, Lord. Some people are definitely trying to push for that with the LGBTQT and stuff like that. They, their argument is, once upon a time, that stuff was... Um, unacceptable and illegal. Now yeah. you can marry whoever the hell you want to. Now they're saying, well, since yeah, they're getting there, their uh, uh, freedoms and stuff, uh, let's just, the other freakazoids are trying to jump on board. Well, see, what what will happen, they're, they're legalizing that and they're going through their little rituals with that now. But the only reason why it will remain a problem is because the older generation, the ain't ones, they ain't having that. Good, you know? Good so we still here. So when you try to pass all this foolishness along for the millennials, worst thing that ever happened, but anyway, 
you know, that's acceptable to them because there's no guidelines for them. There's no discipline for them. It's just like back in the day, we understood discipline. They just got get slaps on the wrist. We mm -hmm. damn near got our ass knocked off. Well, take us out of here, animal. Well, once again, this has been a, another episode of the Lions Den, deep in the heart of the Olympic paradise. I'm your host, Animal, and we out.